All right, June 1st, we're getting ready for the summer sun, but it comes with some concerns. We saw, sometimes worry about sunburns and sunspots, but what about sun mustaches? This is a new thing for me. <laughs> Dr. Sherry Ingraham with Advanced Dermatology is here to tell us all about them and how to get rid of them. Thank you, doctor, for joining us. You would be us. so surprised how many men and women come in with melasma, which is hyperpigmentation on the face, but oftentimes it concentrates on the upper lip and why? Well, women do a lot of hair removal on the upper lip. They go get oh. waxed. And what happens is either you've gotten waxed and you go out in the sun or you haven't and you're just exposed to heat and hormones. Mm. And that combination makes the melanocytes, what make pigment in our skin, hyperactive. And they make more melanin. And so this is something we try and treat a lot, but it's tricky, especially in skin tones that are a little darker. If you do too much, it reacts with inflammation and more hyperpigmentation. Mm -hmm. So slow and gentle wins the race. Okay, all right, let's back it up a little bit. Is there a way to prevent it? I mean, yes. because women aren't gonna stop waxing. Yeah, they getting rid of yep. those hairs. Yep. <laughs> so what you can do is when you go to get waxed, okay, after you get waxed, immediately get an over-the-counter topical steroid like Cordaid and put it in that area for a few days to prevent inflammation. Mm. Then you wanna delve into the world of sunscreen. You want to wear a tinted sunscreen Screen. Tinted sunscreens contain iron oxide, and iron oxide is what blocks blue light and visible light and sunlight. Hmm. And it covers up that little mustache while we're trying to make it fade away. Okay. I love these Neutrogena ones. The only thing on my face right now, I have no makeup on except tinted sunscreen. Oh. So it does it all. And okay? a gorgeous face that it is. It does it all. Hmm. Also, what you can do, one of my favorites is this Elta sunscreen in a stick. So I'll put this Ooh. on you. It is literally transparent zinc. So if you already nice. have that mustache, Stash going, you can put this on, you will not sweat it off. Because this is an area in Houston we tend to sweat a lot. Yes. You can really block the sun on all skin tones. If you've already got it going, what do you do? Yes. What, what do, do you, you do? do? <laughs> you can take this phytocorrective gel from SkinCeuticals or one of my favorite new products, Even and Correct, which contains tranexamic acid. And this is a very powerful yet gentle new lightening ingredient. So before we used to use hydroquinone, right? Bleaching cream. Okay. Now we have tranexamic acid. In many cases, as effective as hydroquinone, works on all skin tones, okay? Mm. Which I love. Designed to work on all skin tones. You can put that on there daily to help lighten it. Or you can go to your dermatologist and get a procedure like Clear and Brilliant, which is a laser procedure that's safe on all skin tones to help lighten melasma. Okay, how long might it take for this to heal or disappear with or without the treatment? It's a really good question. Without the treatment, it may not ever go away. Oh, wow. It may fade a little, then it'll brighten back up because heat itself stimulates the melanocytes, just being in hot Houston, so it will come and go. With treatment, I tell people several months, so slow and steady wins the race. Four to six treatments with Clear and Brilliant at six-week interval we can fade it or with tranexamic acid I tell people after a month or two of using this and a good pigmented sunscreen, a sunscreen that has tint, you can slowly fade it over the summer. Okay, I see you got the hat here also. Hats are important. Wear your hat at all That'll times. That'll help give you some shade, prevent that stash that we definitely we want to avoid. Want. We don't want it, but if we get it, there are ways to help fade it. All right, thank you so much, Dr. Sherry Ingraham with Advanced Dermatology. We are going to reach out to you again because this, these are some great tips here. And also that uh, makeup. Yes, I, makeup I love that. is key. Makeup I love is that. key. All right.